there's any level ground that's where we put our gardens and the way butcher holler got its name is like this my grandmother was a butcher my grandfather was a web and friends are just so happened to be a lot more butchers than they were webs and the butchers won out and that's how it got its name butcher holler of you out there tonight feel the same way about your daddy as I did about my daddy. My daddy died in 59. I didn't start singing until 61, so daddy never did get to hear his coal miner's daughter sing on stage. I know all of you have a lot of memories of your daddy. I got a lot of memories of my daddy, too. And I'd like to share just a couple of my memories with you, if you don't mind. I'd like to share the one memory that I remember the most and I love the most. is a memory of in the wintertime when the snow was on the ground. The wind was blowing the snow through the cracks of the house. Daddy had sat in front of the old fireplace, and he'd rocked two and three kids at one time. And most of the time, I was one of them kids. In fact, Daddy rocked me right up till I got married. I married very young. I kind of walked out of my daddy's arms into my husband's arms. Then there were times that were quite funny. 
memories that I remember of Daddy, and I think one of the funniest ones was Daddy never called me Loretta, it was always Loretty. And I was the only girl till I was nine years old. I was kind of spoiled, I was Daddy's pet. I got into everything I was big enough to get into. I climbed trees, I jumped fences. Daddy would always say to me, now Loretty, if you climb that tree and you fall out and get hurt, you're gonna get whooped. Just as sure as I climbed a tree and I fell out and got hurt, Daddy'd pick me up and spank me before he'd ever look to see if I was dead or alive. 